What's up guys, it's Tyler here. Welcome to uh, my little in-office home studio. Uh, not really home studio, I shoot some of my videos down in the basement, but this is my home workspace. I said uh, in one of my most recent videos about the new MacBook Pro that I would be doing a little tour of my setup, kind of how I go about my every single day editing. I'm an editor full-time, so I'm always working on computers, working in Final Cut Pro, YouTube, Facebook, always. Uh, doing something on the computer. So uh, this is my setup. I have, uh, I'm just gonna kind of go through each items here, talk a little bit about them, uh, about my workflow, how I get things done on a daily basis. So let's start with the desk since that's where everything happens. I got all my monitors and computer and gear and stuff on it. So the desk is, I bought it from Costco. I'm a big Costco guy. I got, it's a Best Star upstand desk. So it's got these custom buttons down here where I can set it to uh, how I'm sitting. Otherwise it goes as up as a standing desk. I got a preset so I can stand up. Um, and along with that, I have a foot pad, uh, standing pad that I set down. So when I'm standing up, I'm gonna go out of frame here, but I can work. I'll show a video of how that operates. Um, I actually made a whole video about that desk. You can check it out. Let me figure this out. It, I know it's up here. Uh, so check it out up there. I made a video all about it. I really, really love working at a standing desk. It gives me the flexibility. Working at home full time and, and being at a computer full time just gives my legs a break to be able to sit down, stand back up, stretch a little bit, give some movement, different positions. I talk about it all in that video. So make sure to check that out. And then moving right along is this uh, chair. It's just an Amazon Basics chair. Um, I actually do a lot of my work standing, so I didn't feel like I needed to splurge that big on an editing chair. Although I am working full time, this guy, the only thing that bothers me is that. <laughs> uh, pretty squeaky. Um, and but, but it's comfortable. Uh, it, I haven't had any issues. I don't have any major back problems or anything like that. So just pretty basic chair here. And then moving right along, we'll go to the machine. This is the brand new... Uh, M1 Max, 16 inch MacBook, MacBook Pro. I, again, I did a video all about that, uh, kind of me unboxing it. I'm gonna do a first, in, uh, not first impressions, but you know, after me getting into it um, video here pretty soon. If it's already out, make sure to check that out. Um, but I've been using it for, it's been about two weeks now and I, I love the machine, it's awesome. I, I hooked up my external displays here. Uh, so I have multiple monitors and, and the workflow is just kind of, it's just honestly kind of ridiculous with the Max chip. Uh, like I said in my old video from my old computers, it, it's just been a blessing to be able to have that and really have a good workflow and edit faster and just do all my work on a daily basis so much faster. So speaking of monitors, these are the LG, LG Ultrafine 24 inch 4K monitors. Uh, I, I've had these for a little while and they work great with the Mac MacBook Pro. Um, and I'll put the all the links in the description for anything that I'm talking about will will be in the description below So make sure to check them out if you're interested in any of these products But um, I got two of them because that's what I've been was working with before I had my iMac and this monitor here And so I had that set up and I really love the two monitor Display and now that I have the laptop is just kind of a bonus monitor don't do too much work off of that normally I just have um, some you know documents open on here uh, pull that up. So I just have some documents open on here, some quick workflow. Here I do my Final Cut Pro in the middle, all my editing, because that's what I'm mostly doing. And then over here, social media management, things like that, YouTube, Facebook, uh, et cetera, Instagram, the website for my client and everything. So uh, I really like the workflow. Um, having multiple monitors just makes everything so much easier. Um, the last thing that I wanted to talk about, which I just picked up because I got this new MacBook Pro, is this CalDigit TS3 Plus. It's a Thunderbolt dock, and it's fantastic. I'm super happy that Apple put the ports back on the new MacBook Pro, but I'm still limited in what I can do with those ports, especially for how many drives. I mean, I have four drives sitting right here, plus three plugged in right now. So I work off of so many different drives, pulling up different projects. And we just dump massive amounts of media for my main client, plus all my wedding videos, my small business uh, clients that I have, things like that. Um, I'm always unplugging and plugging things in, so I was limited in the amount of ports I could have. So this has <coughs> a bunch, I'll put the link in the description for this, but this has uh, four USB ports on the back, three Thunderbolt 4 
ports on the back, a Thunderbolt drive so I can plug this into my MacBook and the monitors are powered off of through here uh, or the displays are uh, connected through here. I have an Ethernet uh, cable plugged into here so I can have Ethernet fast internet rather than Wi-Fi. And I, I have my headphones here on, on the front plugged in as well as well as SD card slots and a couple more one USB-C and one uh, USB type A on the front. So uh, it's a fantastic little dock. It doesn't take up too much space. It's just kind of hidden here against my monitor stand, which is fantastic. And uh, it, I've been using it for two weeks now and no issues yet whatsoever. So definitely recommend that if you have a setup similar to this or you're looking for a Thunderbolt dock, definitely check that out. So that is kind of everything that I've been working with. I did get uh, the external um, mouse and keyboard, magic mouse and keyboard, so uh, that I don't have to be going up on my MacBook when I'm working at my desk setup. Uh, but uh, away from my desk, it's been fantastic having the portability of the MacBook when I'm at home working with my daughter or uh, on the move mobile. It's been fantastic to be able to uh, just quickly unplug that and uh, get working. So. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video of my setup and my workflow, how I do everything here in the home office. It's been really nice working from home and uh, the setup has been fantastic. And, and again, it's all about productivity and time. So the faster that I can get things done, um, the more time that I can start new projects or do new things or spend more time with family. So um, thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you in the next video. Make sure to get out there and keep discovering. <music>